Hey everyone, it's Xiao. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I wanted to share with you guys my little desk area makeover. And this is where I do my work now that I'm working from home temporarily and where I edit, where I do my makeup and everything like that. So I get this little nook area and I wanted to add a little bit more storage space to it and make it a little bit more functional. So if you look at the before and afters, it doesn't look like a huge change, but after the makeover, I've gained a lot more storage space and it's just a lot more functional and I really enjoy some of the new additions that I added to it. So I just wanted to keep this intro nice and short but I wanted to hop on here and thank you guys for clicking on this video other than that this one is quite a long one so make sure to grab a snack or a drink and let's go ahead and get right into it this is my current setup and where I have all of my skincare, beauty, and craft items I'd say it's pretty organized but I just like to have a little bit more storage space on the far left is this tall IKEA drawer unit. This unit provides a lot of storage. It holds all of my stationery, makeup, and other craft items. The center area is my most used area and this is where all of my skincare products are along with my hair and body products that I reach for on a daily basis. And on the bottom are just two bins that hold miscellaneous things. And this corner is where I will be placing the new drawer unit from IKEA. Currently, I just have an old painting and this hanging cup storage system also from IKEA. I don't really need these hanging cups anymore, so I will be excited to take it down. At the bottom is the storage rolling cart where I keep all of my different papers and it also holds my wrapping paper at the corner. I really love this cart, but it's not placed in the most practical space. In order for me to access these drawers, I have to move my desk and then pull out the cart. And the cart itself is actually pretty heavy since it does hold all of my papers. So in order to really utilize this corner, I will be removing this cart and replacing it with a new IKEA tall shelf. So to begin, I'm just clearing out this corner. I have a bunch of workout gear under my desk, so I'm clearing that out and then moving my desk over and pulling that cart out. I'm taking down these hanging cups and this railing also from IKEA. This is actually really helpful but I just don't need it at this moment. And then I did have some spackle on hand so I decided to sand down these holes and spackle the holes just so that they're a little bit less noticeable. Alright, the corner is now cleared out. While this backhoe is drying, I'm going to start on building the new drawer unit, so I will insert the time lapse here. This is what it looks like now with the new unit. One thing that did sort of bug me is that my older unit in the center is sort of off white so it doesn't quite match the new white furniture but I guess that's okay. Um, and then the unit on the left is just dirty in general so I'm just going to wipe these two older units down. This drawer in particular was the most dirtiest and this drawer actually holds all of my makeup so I must have had makeup hands while opening this drawer. I'm just clearing off the top of that center unit and it was pretty dusty so I'm just going to dust it down. Next I'm taking everything out from the center unit so that I can declutter and reorganize it later. Also I want to wipe down these drawers since again they haven't been wiped down in a while. And this is what it looks like all cleared out. I have a clean slate and it kind of looks like an Ikea catalog with all these Ikea furniture. 
I also wanted to mention that I picked up some of these Kalex drawer inserts from Facebook Marketplace. I found two of these drawer pullouts and then one of this door insert. They were like half off so I was so excited and um, one of them came already built so I built the other ones off camera. So I pushed my desk over where I wanted to be placed and I originally thought I wanted to put it right up against these units but I decided not to because if I did then it would really restrict these two units and I wouldn't be able to put any of these inserts into it. So I think I'm just going to leave my desk as is. I don't really need it to be up against the units anyways. So for the extra inserts, I'm going to put the double drawer inserts on these two bottom drawers. And then for the door, I think I'm going to put it on this second drawer on the tall one. I wanted to show you guys what the drawer inserts look like. So you just have to build the drawers yourself. And then it comes with this really cool insert that you actually just insert into the drawer and screw those in. So that's a really cool concept. And then these are original knobs, but I went ahead and ordered some really cute boho ones from Amazon that should come in a couple days. So once those are in, I will of course install those on camera. So to install these inserts, it came with this little spacer that you just kind of mark where you want the insert to um, kind of line up with. So I put the insert in and then you just take a screw and screw them um, two on each side to really secure them. And then once I had both of the inserts installed, I just inserted the drawers and they fit perfectly. I'm just so in awe of this insert concept. I think it's so cool. So like I stated, the install was really easy. The only thing again I noticed is that these drawers are really white and my odor unit is off white. So it looks a little bit weird, but that's really okay because I just like that it's really functional. And then one thing that I did want to know is that these insert drawers, they aren't as smooth to pull out as these IKEA mom dressers, but that's not a huge deal. Next was the installation of the door, and this one was a little bit harder just because I couldn't really figure out these hardwares, um, but eventually I finally got it. So all of the inserts are finally installed and I just love the way it looks. It just adds so much more storage and different storage options as well. So now we can go ahead and start organizing. I'm going to pull out some of the new organization items that I picked up. This first item here is just a simple bin that I got from the container store and I just picked this up to put um, some of my camera gear and cords and external hard drives and stuff like that in there. And then I also already had this bin from Ikea. I think this is actually for plants, but I figured this would be perfect to put all of my makeup brushes in because I wanted to find something a little bit more unconventional and kind of boho. And this was the perfect idea because it's really big. It also comes with a plastic liner so that helps protect the bin itself. And then lastly, also from Ikea, of course, are these drawer inserts dividers. I picked up one of the bigger ones and then two of the smaller ones. And these are really pretty. They have these nice little laser cuts. And I actually didn't end up using one of the smaller divider, but these add a lot of storage space and I really enjoy them. Finally, I can start organizing. So I'm just taking a lot of my camera gear and more tech gear and putting those into the bin so I can make sure everything is in one area. I'm then putting this bin on the top drawer of the new unit and right on top of the bin I'm putting all of my lens. So far I only have two. One is on the camera that I'm filming and I'm also putting my gimbal in here. I love having everything displayed. And then I have this white bin that holds extra camera chargers, memory cards, and smaller items. Next I'm putting our wedding shadow box back in the center because I just really love it and I think it's really pretty. And then of course I'm putting back all of my skincare items in the center. I like to display them on this acrylic um, tiered shelf. So I'm just going to wipe that down because it hasn't again been wiped down in quite a bit. And then reorganizing all of my skincare products.
Next, I'm just decluttering all of my makeup brushes and these really need to be washed but I'm just decluttering and throwing out any old brushes or brushes that I don't use and then placing it again in that IKEA basket that I mentioned before. I decided to place it next to my skincare products just so I can reach for them when I use them. Moving on to the drawers underneath the center unit, I basically just kind of kept everything the same. So I have this bin with all of my paints and then this hole punch. And then I used a smaller um, IKEA insert divider and then putting my little makeup caddy on top. These are my daily makeup items and then putting two smaller white bins underneath. And this is where I keep my makeup sponges and my brow stuff like my soap brow bar. And in the left drawer, I put the larger IKEA divider insert and on top I have this bin with like my contacts and my DIY lash materials. And then I also put a lot of moisturizers and products that I don't use as often but I would still like to be able to reach them. And um, later I did actually flip the bin and these products. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have these moisturizers and products still easily accessible but not upfront. And then underneath are just hair products that I don't use as often but again would just like to be able to access them. And then I don't know if you noticed but I flipped the bin and the products up top like I mentioned before. So next I have this little bin with some mini hair products and then um, on the side here in the very front I like to keep all of my daily moisturizers and hair products and makeup remover. Moving on to those drawer inserts, on the very top, I decided to put all of my hair Velcro in it and I know this seems a little bit extra but I've really been into hair Velcros especially because I've been watching a lot of like Korean hair tutorials and they love using Velcros to add volume and all of that so I have a bunch of different styles, different sizes so I just love that they have their own little drawer. And for the right drawer, I'm putting, of course, more hair products. So I have this little long bin that I keep all of my big hair clips and hair ties and hair clips, just all things here. And then in the center, I'm putting all of my round brushes and my regular wet brush. And then for the bottom left drawer, I'm just putting some backup Q-tips and cotton pads just so that when I do need to refill them, I can easily access them. For the drawer with the door, I decided to put all my papers in here that were in that rolling cart. So in between each packs of paper, I added a little page flex so I can tell the difference between cardstock, sticker paper, regular paper, just so it makes my life a little bit easier. I also put my silhouette stamp maker in there with a bin full of the inks and then also putting my large paper pads and a bin with markers and pins. I love how I can access these but you can still hide them as well with the door. And for the top of the tall IKEA mom drawer, I decided to throw out all of my nail polish because I have a new gel set already and I don't use this anymore so I threw those out and then I just wiped down the top of course because it was getting really dusty. I grabbed our palm plant from the bathroom and placed it up here along with a candle from Bath & Body Works. This is really nice smelling. It smells like linen. And then also putting our Alexa up here. I really like how minimal it looks. On top of the new unit, I put this wooden board that my best friend got me for my bridal shower and also decided to put this hanging faux plant also from Ikea on the corner and I just love the way that this looks. And my two gray bins, I'm putting those in the two bottom drawers of the new unit. I don't need to access these every day. Plus my desk would be kind of blocking them anyway, so it just kind of works out. For my desk, I really wasn't planning on doing anything to it, but when I looked at my corner, it looked a little bit too white with all the white furniture. So what I wanted to do was maybe cover up the tabletop and also the tabletop itself is really dirty from all of my makeup and DIYs. So I went on Amazon and I found this really pretty light um, wood grain contact paper and I'm just gonna cover the top of the tabletop. I know Ikea also does sell a tabletop in this size and that is affordable in wood, but only the very top is wood and then the sides are white so I found that a little bit weird so that is why I will be covering it myself with this wood contact paper. 
My desk also has this railing installed on the side um, that I featured in my previous makeover video and this holds a basket with my hair tools. Um, I couldn't get the railing to come off because the screw wouldn't come out so I just kind of had to work my way around it. And I also found a really helpful video on YouTube on how to um, get your corners to look really nice with contact paper. It's hard to explain so I'm just going to let you guys watch and again I will make sure to link that video down below. And just a little tip, if your contact paper has any bubbles in it, you can take a sharp knife or a needle and poke a little hole in the center. Kind of push that around to release the bubbles and that should fix it. So this is a chair I've had for many years. I think I bought this from Walmart or something. It's really uncomfortable and I didn't realize how uncomfortable it was until I started working from home. So I figured why not get a new chair. So Staples was having a big sale on their chairs. I found this really nice one for half off and it was really um, comfortable and I like the aesthetic of it as well. So I'm just going to assemble that and the hardest part was putting the wheels on. I actually struggled a lot. I'm just not including those clips. Um, and and then for the armrest, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the armrest, so I only put one of the four screws in um, and that actually worked in my favor later, which I will mention why. And this is just a better view of the chair. Again, it's really comfortable. I like the netting on the back so it's really flexible and the cushion itself is really soft. The only thing about this chair is I wish it went a little bit lower. My feet doesn't exactly touch flat on the ground but um, it's not a huge deal for me because the price was really nice. Again, this is what the back looks like. It's really comfortable. It just kind of contours to my back. And then as I mentioned earlier, I only put in one of the four screws on the armrest and I actually like that because then I can adjust if I want the arms to go towards inwards more or if I want it to go outwards more because when I sit I kind of like to cross my legs and sometimes arm rest can get in the way so I kind of like that I only use one screw and that kind of worked out. And finally, a couple days later, I got the doorknob replacements from Amazon and these are just a really natural wood knob and I just love the look of it. So um, this is what they look like up close. They were really affordable and I have a lot of them left over. And this is just my attempt of making a cool transition. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And then let's go ahead and replace the one on the door. And finally, last but not least, I looked over at the corner and it was still looking a little bit too white for my liking. So I had some leftover contact paper that I decided to cover up the very top of the middle unit and I'm really happy I went with that decision. And before I show you guys the finished makeover, I just again wanted to show you guys what it looked like before. So I know to some people it may look like it's not a huge makeover, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I have so much more storage and I love the different pops of color like the green and the wood grains and I'm just really happy about it. So just a quick walkthrough of everything that I did. On the very top left IKEA unit, I have a plant, a candle, and our Alexa just to keep things a little bit simple. On top of the middle unit is our wedding shadow box along with all my skincare products stored on this tiered shelf and then also that bin from Ikea where I keep all of my makeup brushes. I'm really happy I decided to cover the top of this unit with that contact paper. I was a little bit worried it was going to look too tacky but I actually really like the way it turned out. And then the shelves or drawers right below that, I just have a lot of my hair products, other um, body products, and some products that I don't reach for as much on the left side. And then on the right, I have a little caddy with my everyday makeup products and just some bins with some sponges and other miscellaneous tools. 
Moving on to these drawer inserts that I installed in this video, I really like them and they add so much more storage to this unit. I'm also really happy with these wood uh, knobs as well and I'm happy that I can change them in the future if I'd like to. So just really quick, the top left drawer holds all of my hair veil curls. I'm really extra with them so I like how I can reach for them really easily and it's right by my desk. And right next to that are more hair accessories along with my round brushes and my wet brush that again that I reach for every time I do my hair. And on the bottom left shelf are just extra q-tips and extra cotton pads. On the very bottom right drawer I don't have anything in there so I just like that I have extra room. And then moving on to the new unit from Ikea, on the very top I have this wood sign for my best friend I got for my bridal shower. I also love the pop of wood. I also have a full hanging plant up there. And then on the open drawer right below that I display all of my camera gear um, such as my lens and my gimbal. I also like that it's really easily accessible. And the drawer below that is the one I installed the door insert in and this is where I keep more of my stationery such as my papers. Um, I have my stamp maker in here and some pens and markers. And the two drawer below are just my gray bins that hold a lot of my random things that I don't reach for as often. Moving on to my desk, I've had this for a really long time. It's really affordable from Ikea and I'm really happy that the contact paper was able to kind of change it up a little bit without me having to spend too much money. I also love the contrast of colors and I just love the look of wood in general. I also got this desk pad from Ikea for really cheap and this helps to protect my contact paper from my makeup or any DIYs that I might do. So overall, I'm really happy with my desk um, and how it looks like in this area. And last but not least is my new chair. I've been sitting in this chair for the past couple days so I can report that it is really comfortable. Of course, I also really like the aesthetic of it. I also picked up this cushion pillow from Ikea and I like the size of it. It's not too poofy so it can fit behind my back without pushing me off my chair. And I just like this new addition because it makes it so much more enjoyable to sit at my desk. So that is it for the makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some helpful tips and tricks on how to make over your areas in your home or your apartment. It's just been really fun for me to kind of make over some areas in our apartment, especially since we're staying inside all the time. And it's just kind of nice to refresh our area. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it. I worked really hard on this video and subscribe if you guys are new here. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.